everyone, welcome to another torch review. I've been lucky enough to be sent uh, another torch from Brynite. This one is the T28 Artemis dual IR torch. I've stripped it out of the art packaging. Comes with this nice, handy, convenient box with like a magnetic lid. First things first, let's get into the torch. It's not the first time I've had a hard box, I have used it recently. You're gonna see some footage from it to back up what I'm saying. First impressions as usual, quality made torch. Put your battery in, just screw your end cap off, go into your accessory part of your box here. And you've got a 5000 mAh battery. I use this for probably four hours, five hours of the morning, or the night, should I say, early morning, night time. Yeah, fantastic. Never, never run out of charge. And as you can see, beam's still nice and strong and healthy. So there's plenty of life left in that battery. This is a dual IR torch. So what does that mean? You clearly got a white light and you've got two IR functions. So you've got IR850, IR940. So if I switch, there's a switch on the torch here. It simply just switch from one function to the other. If we go to IR850, clearly you can't see that, but that's the whole idea about infrared. It's when you're shooting, you quarry, and you can't see it, it's not visible to the naked eye for us either as humans. And you've got 940. All you get inside lens, you can just see that, is a faint red glow. I believe that's your, that's your 850. You can see the difference in brightness there. And that's a lot dimmer. You can also dim that further down. Try and catch light here, but we've got a dimmer switch on here, so you can adjust that as well. Just by twisting left or right, I'll try and highlight that with your white. Maybe you can see that. So twist it to the left. Really, really dim. Then you can intensify your beam. Turn it off. Fantastic. Made out of aircraft grade aluminium. Really robust. You can adjust your, your beam further. You go to spot to flood just by twisting your end piece here. I like it somewhere about there so you get a bit of intensity. So you get a full picture through your scope as well. Simply on and off, just your end cap, just press it in. Your lens is made out of plastic. But I quite like that. A lot of people like glass, but if I was to drop that, that plastic ain't gonna shatter. So I think that's an improved feature. What you will see from the review and the footage is that I you actually use the rat tail. Same principle, just twist off your end cap, twist your rat tail on. Then on here, you've got a power button on your little remote pad. Press it, it's on, and you've got a dimming function. So you can see that just going down. Plus and minus, easy to understand. Now I use this overnight. Uh, torch on top of a rifle, and that velcro were attached with another velcro pad that's attached to my stock, and it were virtually hands free, were perfect. Along with this kit, get USB charging cable, plug into any household socket, couple of extra O rings, put in between your the bits that come apart from your torch, keep it waterproof when, when they diminish. And obviously you get an instruction manual as well, which will just pop up somewhere that you can see a little bit closer, and a warranty card. 
I've done quite a few torch reviews recently. Uh, torches are much the same, you know, there's not many other features that I can talk about. What I will say is this is absolutely first class because you can, while you're hunting, you can use your white light for spotting. And like me, I was hunting in darkness, so I was using my night vision on my scope, on the ATM 4K. And when I've spotted something, simply switch to IR. That way, my quarry didn't know I was there because my white light rolling and very shortly. Really, really handy, but you can switch from one to the other. Uh, some people are morning saying that should be red. Now, if you're ratting, yeah, it should be red. But after a while, rats are going to get used to the red light anyway, so you're going to have to switch to night vision. So, I think long term, this is a better option. White light spotting or for retrieving or picking up, and then switch to your IR. All right, what we'll do now is I'll cut some footage, let you see some uh, action in field. You can make your minds up. Uh, there be a, a link to these products in the description of the video with prices and things like that. So check that out and uh, ask any questions you want in the comment section and uh, I'll answer the best I can for you.